Hi, my name is Leland Archer, and I'm uh, an author working at the Future Fiction Academy. Is it one of doing this writing challenge where we are attempting to write about 2,000 words a day? This is in support of writing our novels. And for me personally, I'm doing three different serial productions, which are all subscriptions. And so I kind of have to stay on top of the ball. So the idea is to use AI to improve our, our writing speed, uh, efficiency. Uh, I use it mostly for getting some ideas and tracking what's going on. So this is going to kind of just me using the AI in a slightly different way than, than some of the other ones. Um, we normally use one of our internal tools, but I'm going to demonstrate just using chat GPT today because I'm actually going to play with uh, open AI's model and I'm going to use it to, to generate the, the bulk of like the next chapter that I want to write for my lit RPG series. For to do this, uh, I'm going to be trying a new technique. Don't know if it's going to work. We're going to find out as we go. Okay. So let's see here. So the first thing is, is I'm, I'm using a crow account for chat GPT and uh, I'm going to pop over here to the Scrivener. Do is <laughs> I'm going to grab the last two chapters. So this is just kind of me priming the pump, so to speak. So I'm just going to grab this chapter. What I'm going to do is I'm kind of, kind of come down here, put it here. And we're going to say, this is chapter 15. It is chapter 15, right? Yeah. Chapter 15, chapter 15. And I'm just going to put that in there and then we we'll close that off and say chapter 15. Then I'm going to say chapter 16. And I'm going to do the same thing to get chapter 16. Cause I kind of want. This is, this is one grabbing where I'm at with, with the story so far. And I'm going to bet you, I'm probably going to hit the input limits chapter 16. Okay. So uh, first off, I'm just going to select all of that and copy that just to be absolutely sure. Then I'm going to, uh, up at the top of this, I'm going to say, please read the last two chapters. Okay. And then I'm going to. Hop down here to the bottom of this one, and I'm going to pull. I'm going to put a. I'm going to put that there. Let's let's see if it, if it works. Do 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 do. So we're going to stop that one. So I'm just going to click stop on this one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to start a new chat. Let's just go here. Okay, so fresh chat. I'm just going to put this in here. I'm going to say, all right, please read the last two chapters. And then without actually hitting it, I'm going to, I'm going to lay down the shift key as I hit enter. I'm going to put a little dinkus in here and I'm going to, now I'm going to give us some instructions on that. Uh, let's plan the next chapter, chapter 17. I want, I'm going to say kind of what I want. I want Aiden to make his way to the village, uh, which uh, is burned down and ruined. The uh, bonded familiar, uh, familiars, and the GG, the shadow wolf, and the uh, bird, the touch of the bird. Do not like this plan and would want to run because of the uh, soldiers and other seeker who are looking for Hayden to kill him. These are also, you know, let's see, the soldiers have already killed almost everyone in the village and burned it down on the command of Cian, the other seeker, who, who is a noble in the empire. Aiden needs, we'll find where he dragged his friend 
Matilda to but she is gone in then let's describe we totally burning who destroyed village of Lapidari. Please make a writing plan for this next chapter. There we go. So, yay. And let's see here. Yeah, I'm describing it's force, highlighters, it will win style outcome, the hands of search and village and characters. Reading it, argue against it, emphasize the danger, use quick, urgent dialogue, show it is resolved, traveling to the forest, describe the scenery, trim moving stealthily, using Gigi's shadows abilities and Rhea's aerial reconnaissance. Yes. First impressions, vivid, description of the village, searching Tilda, searching for Tilda. Um, okay. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I don't want the soldiers searching the village. It was good. But let's have. Only a couple of soldiers watching the area that Rhea or Gigi spots. So let's just let's just fix that part of the plan. Okay. All right. So that looks pretty good. Journey back to the village. Arriving at the village, devastation of Lapidara. Presence of Rias and Gigi's five couple soldiers patrolling the area. Here, uh, here, you must now get the burning village to avoid detection. Okay, um, uh, let's end this chapter with Aiden returning to his dad's uh, smithy, which is burning, but have Aiden uh, steal in into it to recover uh, the, his hidden stash of coins and the magic trifoil sword he found earlier and hid per Ram's her, his mentor's instructions um, for him, and uh, then end with Hayden wanting to follow the soldiers. Uh, Aiden proposing, proposing to follow the soldiers who have. Bram uh, as a prisoner. Okay, let's see here. Let's just add that in. Village. Okay, discovery that. Okay, this is all good. Escaping the smoothie. Uh, actions, expressions. Okay. That's good. Okay. So now let's just, uh, let's just get a fast draft of this. So I'm just going to say, okay, uh, this is great. Now, please follow the chapter brief, uh, chapter writing plan and write a five. I'm going to, I'm going to make, I'm going to say 5,000 word, uh, draft chapter. Uh, in the same style as the provided chapters. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is, so so now we have a plan, We've got the whole thing, and basically the whole thing is in context. And context means what is, what's the AI actually seeing? It's seeing everything that we're doing, plus all the previous context. That's actually why I had to start a new one, because I didn't, you know, if things get a little bit sideways, you want to start a new one. So I'm just going to hit enter on this one. So I, I'm asking for 5,000 words. It never, ever, ever does 5,000 words. It usually does right around, you know, 1,000, maybe two, 3,000 if you're lucky. But the thing is, is what you can do is you, it, it, it's just enough to get you started. 
And by the way, this is kind of more of a, uh, we, we call this a Gardner method in the Future Fiction Academy. Uh, that's because, you know, gardeners essentially are people who it's like, we don't try and set the thing all up. We're not trying to do a fully automated book. Um, you know, we're not, we're not like setting the whole plan up and, and then executing like, you know, uh, you know, you know, 15 or so instructions in rapid succession to try and get, to try and get what we're thinking. And if you'll know, what we do is we have a few tools. Uh, we, we we work on our prompts and we just kind of move through here. So we can't leave till they're behind. I'm going to read through this one. She's gone. Stay here. Order is tone. No room. Okay. And you'll note that it, it didn't finish right here, right? So it's it's not quite done yet. So uh, so what I can do is is it actually you know provides me with this cute little button that's continue generating, which basically it just sends the whole thing in. And what happens is 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 it actually continues it from right where it left off. And then keeps running going. So, so now it thinks it's done. So let's find out. So I asked for 5,000 words. Let's see how much we got. So I'm going to use a little thing here. So I got 1,700 words, which is, you know, it's almost my 2,000 words. So, but now what I'm going to do is I just take this, I copy this, and I flip over to Scrivener. And I add myself a new chapter. There. And so now I have now I have a chapter here in in the uh, Scrivener, and at this point I then start actually going through and I and I do a lot of editing. Um, if if it turns out that you know like like there's some, sometimes I have to throw away half of it. Uh, sometimes I really really like what I've got, and all I have to do is just a few tweaks. But also I'm I'm making sure that the characters' voices make sense. I'm making sure that the characterizations are happening. Um, and I'm also making sure that uh, the the story is actually working out the way I planned. If it doesn't, I can just go back and generate it because, as you saw, I all I did was you know prime the pump, develop a plan, make sure the plan makes sense, and then just kind of go with that. This makes it easier because for me personally, it's a it's so much easier because I kind of have an idea of where I want to go. I don't actually know for sure, and I kind of think about my story so far for about a day or so, and I'm like, hmm, what am I going to do with this? Where am I going to go? Oh, that would be fun. And I and and I think of these ideas, and then I'm able to very quickly generate a draft because it's a lot easier to edit uh, a draft than <laughs> than to actually start with a blank page and just try and write that whole thing all in. Um, by the time I'm finished with this, this is currently 1,700 words. By the time I'm finished with this, this will be about 2,100, 2,200. And I will have, you know, fixed the dialogue, straighten a few things and allow. But at this point, it's just going through editing, deciding if I like the story or not. So that's that's going to be kind of it for today. This is just to kind of show precisely what I do uh, in some some days to just generate this. This this is a way for me to just use these large language models to very quickly generate interesting content uh, and and produce this. I will be doing some more demonstrations of, of some other techniques that I'm doing, but this is one of my, you know, go-to tools. I'll, I'll use this with ChatGPT or with the Claude API. So hopefully this was a lot of fun. If you think this is kind of interesting, you want to learn how to better prompt and use the large language models, uh, these uh, word generating slot machines, as I like to call them, uh, why don't you come on over to the Future Fiction academy and you can see what we have we have literally hundreds and hundreds of classes uh, one price gets you in the door you can see everything we've got and we do live classes a few times a week along with author clubs and a few other fantastic items so with that i'm just going to say bye and i hope you have a great day and i hope this was useful for you